Death and taxes and the picture of George Washington on the dollar bill, those are among the few constants in a changing world. But now another of those constants may be changing. Coca-Cola is about to announce what it calls the most significant development in its history. The formula for Coca-Cola is called Merchandise 7X, a recipe so secret that it's locked inside this Atlanta bank vault, so successful that it's been tinkered with, but never dramatically changed in nearly a hundred years. But tomorrow, Coca-Cola Company will tell a thirsty world it's putting a smoother, sweeter taste into the most instantly recognizable bottle in the world. I believe it'll do for brand Coca-Cola what diet Coca-Cola did for the diet market. Coca-Cola is ready to launch a nationwide advertising blitz and the company already has sent its bottlers a video pep rally in the War of the Colas. So let's let her rip. Let's land on the beaches and go all the way. Following World War II, Coca-Cola held 60% of market share for the soft drink industry. By the early 1980s, that market share had dwindled to under 24%. This immense decrease was largely due to intense competition between Coca-Cola and Pepsi-Cola. Pepsi began to outsell Coke in supermarkets, yet Coke maintained its edge through vending machine sales as well as soda fountain sales in fast food, concessions, and sports venues, where Coca-Cola had purchased exclusivity. Coca-Cola began to fear that perhaps the public was tired of the taste of the century-old soft drink. Coke was consistently losing out to Pepsi in blind taste tests, and this led Coca-Cola senior executives to commission a secret project headed by marketing vice president Sergio Zyman and Coca-Cola USA president Brian Dyson to create a new flavor for Coke. New Coke launched on April 23, 1985. Production of the original formula would halt just a week after the launch. In many areas, New Coke was actually packaged in Old Coke packaging. Bottlers used remaining cans, cartons, and labels before New Coke packaging was widely available. After a press conference that went shaky, to put it lightly, began the three stages of failure. It began with the New Coke initial success. Most Coke drinkers accepted the New Cola, but sales began declining as most people began to resent the change. Backlash would begin with a large number of longtime Coke drinkers getting fed up with the new formula change. Many of these drinkers were Southerners and felt that Coca-Cola was a fundamental part of their region and identity. They viewed the change through the prism of the Civil War as another surrender to the Yankees. The company's HQ in Atlanta began receiving letters and telephone calls expressing their anger and disappointment. They would go on to receive over 40,000 calls and letters, and the company hotline was getting at least 1,500 additional calls daily. It would get to the point that Coke hired a psychiatrist to listen to the phone calls and told executives that the callers were speaking as if the situation was the death of a family member. In short, New Coke was controversial to say the least. Coke's largest competitor, Pepsi, began to notice and took advantage with new marketing campaigns, targeting the fact that Coke had changed, which was true, and that they changed because they were scared of Pepsi, which was also true. Can somebody out there tell me why Coke did it? Why they changed? First, they said they were the real thing, then they said they were it. Then kablooey, they changed. So now, I'm gonna try my first Pepsi. But I still wanna know why Coke changed. Mm. Now I know why. Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. Following the height of the controversy, Coca-Cola would then redeem themselves. The reversal of the move began just 79 days after New Coke had launched. The reversal back to the original formula was such huge news that General Hospital was interrupted by an ABC newscast reporting the change. The U.S. Senate was also talking about it, with U.S. Senator David Pryor calling the reintroduction a meaningful moment in U.S. history, just two days after the announcement of Coca-Cola Classic coming back. Coca-Cola would also receive 32,000 calls in those two days, which I'd venture to assume were mostly positive. The new Coke did, however, stick around for a little while, roughly until 1992. It was later renamed to Coke 2. Coke 2 would eventually be discontinued altogether, so the world's most controversial soft drink faded into obscurity. And now the legacy of new Coke is just a story. Many of us have heard of the story before, as I have, and I've always wanted to try new Coke, as I've read online that the new formula was actually much better tasting. Well, unfortunately, we'll never get to try the most polarizing soft drink in history. Coke 2 got discontinued completely in 2002, and now all we have is other people's accounts of the most infamous drink of all time. Well, what if I told you that I've tried new Coke, and no, I, I wasn't born in the 1980s. Coca-Cola teamed up with Netflix's Stranger Things 3, which is set in 1985, and brought back limited quantities of the most controversial soft drink in history. Now, personally, 
I do think it tastes better than classic Coca-Cola. And I'd like to give a can of new Coke to a lucky subscriber of mine that comments on this video. And you can tell me what you think, or you can simply keep it as a souvenir. Either way, this is the first giveaway on my channel, and I'm super excited that I found something that I could tie into a video. Specifically with new Coke, I thought that I'd never be able to try it. Now, I want to give one of you the opportunity for yourself to own the most controversial soft drink in the world. Again, just be subscribed, comment below, and I'll choose a subscriber at random. I'll pin a comment with the winner so you know when the prize has been claimed. Good luck and thank you guys for watching. your first taste now at McDonald's. I'm Don Keogh, president of the Coca-Cola Company. When we brought you the new taste of Coke, we knew that millions would prefer it, and millions do. And we knew that it would beat the taste of our major competitor, and it does. What we didn't know was how many thousands of you would phone and write asking us to bring back the classic taste of original Coca-Cola. Well, we read and we listened, and you know the rest. They're both yours. The new taste of Coke and Coca-Cola Classic. Your right of choice is back.